So I bought myself one of those cheap Chinese fake amp meter things. And this is it. And here is my short little review on it. So, as you can focus, focus. So, as you can see right here, I have 12.33 volts and 4.6 amps being drawn from my system right now. I am going to start my generator and you will see this little charging light come on and my voltage will obviously change and my amps will obviously change. So, starting the generator. And you know, this also, it's a 500 amp shunt that I have on this. So you will see, because of how I wired this, how many amps my generator starter pulls. So there we go. My generator is started. And what is nice about this amp meter is it really shows me what anything in my 12 volt RV system is doing. You know, it shows me that my generator, it, well, not the generator, but my factory charge controller 12 volt converter box thingy starts out around 30 amps, but very quickly it drops down from that 30 amps. And, you know, realistically, my factory charge. 12 volt converter thing sucks, you know. And I pretty much knew this from just what other people had said and, you know, that kind of stuff. But it is really, I guess I wasn't all the way zoomed out. It's really nice to actually have something to see that. And as you can see right here, charging light came on. That's the amps that are coming in. If the charging light's on, it's charging. If the charging light is not on, the amps are being pulled out. So instead of having a plus or a minus or anything like that, just charging light tells you it's putting in amps and charging light not in, not on means that it's taking away those amps. So it's a very basic system. Right now I don't have absolutely everything set up. I don't have the amp hour or the percentage set up. Um, I set it up at one point in time, but then I just, you know, it's one of those kind of things where you have to occasionally you know, reset it and tell you tell it that your battery's full and you know then it'll stay a little bit more accurate. But you're not gonna be able to see it at all. I wonder if I got a flashlight that I can show you with. Flashlight, 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 flashlight. So I don't have my propane detector screwed in right now. So my shunt is right there. I wonder if you can see that. Oh yeah, you could totally see that. So that's where my shunt is at. And obviously everything else is inside the wall and on my batteries, all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, you know how long my generator's been running, however long since I hit the start button. But it's already down to 15 amps that it's putting into the system. You know, I, you know, I don't think that's enough for you know, it's going to drop down, you know, even more here in a little bit, but so that's what I have right there for the thingy doohickey amp meter. Here's my batteries. Nothing fancy. Wired them up and, you know, check the water every month, all that kind of fancy stuff. But that's enough of those. So it's still dropping. I'm going to go ahead and shut off my generator right now, though. But trust me, it just it just keeps dropping and it's not anything good. But you'll see here, it switched to not say charging anymore. So now I know that I am pulling about five amps. I can go and start turning off lights on the system and you know, you'll see that the amps drop and you know, for the most part, it's very nice just having that voltage gauge and that amp meter gauge. And from there, I can basically know how my system is doing. You know, I know what kind of percentage or what kind of, not percentage, but basically the voltage to battery percentage scale. You know, I have that in my head. And so, you know, I look at that, you know, occasionally, and then I just look at how many amps I'm pulling, how many amps I'm putting in. And it's really nice to know. 
also this little amp meter that I got here. I really like it. It's, you know, not quite a... Uh, what are those fancy ones called? This. It's not quite one of those, but for, you know, what I want it for, it completely satisfies my needs. Completely. You know, it it actually has two different displays and I can change, you know, what they say and it's it's fully, you know, when I when I hook up the shunt, and this is the 500 amp model, when I hook up the shunt, I'm able to zero the gauge out so that it actually is that full zero and, you know, not just, uh, you know, a little bit of a number. Because it was a little bit off at first, but I was able to reset it and, you know, perfect. You know, good from there, ready to go. And so, yeah, I picked this up on eBay for somewhere around 50 bucks or so with the 500 amp shunt. They have different models with different shunts and, you know, shipping from China, it's obviously slow, but, you know, 50 bucks or so, so much cheaper than the, whatever the other one is called, and, yeah, I, I totally recommend one of these. For, for the price, you can't really go wrong, you know, you just, you look at it, see what your system's doing, and you're just, you're smooth sailing, ready to go. It's, it's so nice, you know, just... Just having that visible, you know, actual volts and amps. It's perfect. It's all I need. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have any complaints about it. I mean, I was really expecting to not like it as much as I do, but, heck, it's awesome and it's not as much as, you know, the nearest option at all. It's, <laughs> it's great. But, uh, yeah, I can't really say anything else about it. I don't really have any negatives. I'm sorry. I, you know, I try to find things that aren't good. I mean, maybe just the fact that, you know, right now my amp hours and my charge percentage are off. But, I mean, that's something that through the menu system I can reset. You know, I just have to fully charge my battery 100%, and then I can reset it, tell it that my battery's at 100%, and it starts keeping track of it. But, you know, right now it's just, it's off, and so, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, the other ones, you have to reset them too. So, my complaint is null, gone, poof. But, yeah, I'm saying but a lot. So, I think that I should butt on out of here, get done with this video, and, yeah. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.